Hey, it's Dr. Michael. I've been asked to do the brief demo that I do for all my patients. I like to explain the dangers of soda if you're in a healing crisis and compare it to some other waters and just show exactly what it does. I also want to show some of the dangers that are associated with tap water. So, for instance, we're going to take tap water and we're going to fill these two things here real quick. You can see they come out of the same jug. Now, what you'll see is that it is loaded with the chlorine drops. These are just the straight chlorine drops from an adjic. You know, people are like, oh, I used too many drops. You know, it makes it brighter. It shows up. Let me get you to stick three fingers right in there, all the way to the bottom. There you go. We'll take a couple minutes here. Now, most people like to drink Dasani, or I liked Aquafina. Some people do Smart Water, things like that. So I was just going to do a quick comparison of these two. So if we look at how much the acidity level is compared to Enagic's 9.5 water, we will get a comparison. Now this, mind you, is just water from Dasani. It is not soda. You'll see that the colors are all real similar. Here's the 9.5 water. And yeah, this is what I do probably four or five times a day when people ask me why they shouldn't drink sodas. You can tell from the pH chart that this is about 10.0, 11, 9.5, somewhere in there. This is the soda, Sprite. You can tell its acidity level is way down at the bottom of the chart. And surprisingly, this is Dasani water, one of the more common bottled waters. So what it does is it is an extreme acid. If you're trying to have available oxygen, hydrogen, and antioxidants in your water, what you're going to run into is if you think, oh, I'll just drink one soda a day, what you're doing to contaminate your system. So, for instance, if you're drinking water from Dasani, it rebalances out pretty quickly. It'll bounce up, gets it done. If you do the same thing with soda, though, you'll find that it doesn't change hardly at all. In fact, with this 32-ounce glass of water, it only takes a capful to start destroying that water and turning the whole thing acidic. You can tell that it does it pretty quickly. If you ended up going, hey, I just wanted a gulp, wash it down, you'll find that it gets dangerous in a hurry. So you've gone from purple to blue to green to light green to yellow pretty quickly. So what that means is you've destroyed the antioxidant properties, the available hydrogen, the available oxygen in the water, and you're damaging your tissues. Again, that's why we try to steer people away from drinking the sodas, especially during their trial time. This works really effectively to get them to go, I may never drink soda again. This now is the chlorine water. The reason that we do this demo is because people don't think that what they put on their skin matters. Your skin is an osmotic membrane, it will, which means what Whatever is on either side, it will go across your skin and absorb whatever is necessary till it reaches a balance. So, for instance, oh, lost your paper towel here. There you go. And as you saw, I just dumped it from the same thing. We can just keep adding drops. What has happened is the chlorine that was in the water is now in her hand. The skin has literally absorbed it, and you can see the color differential. It's night and day. But that's what I do. That's how I do it. That explains the difference of how your acidity ratio is changed by drinking soda. Most people go, well, I'm not going to drink enough of that water to change the acidity. You don't have to. If you add baking soda to this, it'll go right back to alkaline, which is the same as if your body pulls calcium bicarbonate out, and it'll pull that calcium from your bones, and you can get osteoporosis and things like that. So, there you go. Again, it's Dr. Michael just trying to explain how acidity and chlorine affects the body.